Thanks for staying with us. Joining us on the show to tell us more about Al Hikma University is a senior lecturer, medical microbiology and public health. Al Hikma University in Ilori, Dr. Mansurat Falano. Welcome to the show, ma. Thank you. Thank you for having me on the show. Very, very excited to have you. So your university is reputed to be the first Islamic faith-based university in the country. Tell us more about the vision and mission of the school. When I heard Islamic University, I was like, oh my God, that's exciting because we need more stuff like this. Tell us about the university and the mission and vision of it. Thank you, Wazen, again. Alikma University is a faith-based university located in Ilorin, Kwara State, Nigeria. It was established by the Abdurrahim Islamic Foundation in Ilorin. The university got licensed to operate as a conventional private university by the federal government of Nigeria in 2005. And we commenced our first academic session, that's the 2005-2006 academic session, with three faculties and 70 students. Mm -hmm. The vision of the founder of Alikma University is to be a world-class university that provides quality university education. And our mission is to promote academic and moral on a basic foundation of Islamic principle in order to promote the cause of humanity and promote a better Nigeria. Wow, well done. So um, as an Islamic faith-based university, is the university open to um, admitting um, students for, of different faiths? Yes. Alikma University, being a faith-based university, means that it promotes moral along with academic excellence. Mm -hmm. On this note, Alikma University is open to every individual who aspire a perfect blend of moral with academics. So, irrespective of religion, ethnicity, gender, or even political affiliation, Alikma University is open to all. Mm. Okay. So, so what would you consider your major strength to be? What stands your university mm -hmm. out? Well, Al Hikma University stands out in its well spelt mission. That is, to promote a perfect blend of morality with education. Mm. Because in our society, mm. moral decadence is increasing at an alarming rate. And the consequences of this is not limited to poor academic performance. It also extends to university dropouts. It can lead to increase in the rate of irresponsible citizens, mm. all this put together promotes the mission of Alikma University. So it's, this lies in the strength of Alikma University. Mm, okay, Let, let's, 2005 is a while. So I'm looking at how have you fared? What's your, what's, what are your outstanding achievements? Because I went to a school known for law, medicine, and engineering. Okay. And those areas are still our core areas of strength will beat okay. anybody in the world. Yeah. So what are your achievements? <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, and what moments can you really remember as, that you, know, you have achieved? Well, let's take it from inception. We started with three faculties. Now we have seven faculties at Alikma University. We have grown in strength and in quality. Mm. Let's take it from our curriculum. The curriculum of Alikima University aligns with the curriculum of every other university in Nigeria because for our programs to be accredited, it means our curriculum aligns with the benchmark minimum academic standard. So in terms of quality, we are there. In terms of available resources, our resources aligns with the requirements of the NUCB mass. So this is an achievement on its own. For the seven programs that we have, we have a series of undergraduate and postgraduate programs at Alikma University, and almost all of our programs have been accredited by the NUC. To add to our achievements is the fact that Alikma University promotes community development. We established a secondary school that provides quality secondary education to children in the community. The quality of our secondary school can be proven by the performance of one of our students at the just concluded senior secondary school debate competition where Hikma, coincidentally she's Hikma by name, yes. Yes. Hikma Abdul Karim, mm -hmm. competed with over 100 students yes. from different secondary schools in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. And she made us proud yes. by coming on with the first position yes, prize. Yes. This mm -hmm. tells us how 
strong Alikno University is in terms of promotion of excellence. Mm. Let me talk about our contribution to entrepreneurial skills because Alikno University understands that it is one thing to acquire knowledge in the four walls of the classroom and it is another thing to have this entrepreneurial skill that will make graduates employable after graduation. Mm. So on this, Alikma University provides quality entrepreneurial skills for our students. I'll cite an instance. At our law campus, because we have three campuses, at our law campus, we have a moot court. The moot court stimulates our students to the real court proceeding mm. while in the school. Right. So we also have a well-equipped mass communication studio for our students. In addition to that, we have a fitness center for our students because mm -hmm. we understand that all work and no play right. makes Jack a dull boy. Yeah. So we, all, we want our students to be all rounder. Okay. So, so how much is this? Uh, cool. my best. That's the issue right That's now. The of the matter. How That's the English is so cool. uh, What is the cocoa of the matter? Okay. First, let's make something clear. Uh. For a university to have adequate resources to cater for its students, for that university to have adequate and qualified manpower, mm. we need fund. Of course. Mm -hmm. We don't get subvention from the federal government. We do not get any benefit from TET fund. We rely on our internally generated revenue. Okay. Okay. So, even at this, we want to promote quality. Alikma University, I must tell you, is still one of the affordable universities with high quality in Nigeria. Okay. Apart from our affordability, we also have some programs. The founder of Alikma University subsidized some programs hmm. for parents to be able to afford coming to Alikma University. Okay. We also allow instrumental payments at Alikma University. Oh. So Alikma University you is not quite the affordable. Is money, no. not the, the figure, figure so on the figure, we, on the website. our charges is bill, between 300,000 yeah. to less than 1.5 million era, okay. depending on the cost. So okay. further information can be gotten right. on our website, okay. www.alhikmauniversity.edu. Thank you Thank for being generous. Does Alhikma yes. have the dash <laughs> where you are doing the www.alhikma? Is there a dash or just No, no, no. Just, just, just one word. word. Yes, one word. word. I want to ask for those who, they've heard you and thinking, how <laughs> I have to come to this school. Thank you. But so apart from, um, you know, scoring really high in your jam scores, okay. what other criteria would you need to have as a, an applicant to come to your school? Okay, for applicants seeking admission into 100 level, in addition to jump, it is required that they have a minimum of five credits in any of the O-level programs, right. okay. with English being the major and four other subjects, depending on the choice of course. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so what courses are available? What other courses? Because you mentioned law now. Okay. And I'm thinking, what else can mm. they have? <laughs> so what else? What? Okay, I'll start with the faculties that we have. Okay. We have faculties of law, mm -hmm. education, management sciences. We have faculty of agriculture. We have faculty of natural and applied sciences. We have faculty of health sciences. We have faculty of humanities and social sciences. Now, let me go to the programs we have. <laughs> All those faculties offer programs at both undergraduate and postgraduate level. Okay. So we have over 50 undergraduate programs and we have over 48 postgraduate programs. Wow. We also have 12 centers at Alikma University. Almost all of our programs have been accredited by the NUC. Mm -hmm. Let me list some of the programs that we have. We have law, we have cyber security, we have information systems, we have public health, we have nursing, we have law, I think I've mentioned yes. law before. <laughs> we have yeah. mass communication. Yeah. We have sociology and criminology. We have a, a, a whole lot of programs. Mm. So, so is admission currently going on now? Yes, admission is currently on at Alikma University. Okay, so what message do you have for admission seekers out there? Why should they come to Alikma? Okay. For applicants seeking admission, Alikma University is a place to be. It's a place where quality university education is assured. It's a place where safe and conducive learning environment is assured, is a place where timely completion of academic session is assured. In the sense that a candidate gaining admission into Alikma University, at the point of admission, can tell the exact time of graduation. So we have an 
uninterrupted academic calendar. Mm. So Aligma University is a place for all. Fantastic. Thank you so much. We wish you the best. Yes. And I, I, what I like most about this university is that um, hopefully you begin to set the pace yes. for Muslim um, who need education and don't want to be discriminated. You know, they have had issues of discrimination in other universities. They've had issues of how to wear the hijab, how not to, you know. With your university, you set the tone and the pace and let other universities learn how to accommodate and work with people who are different from you. So I think it's a fabulous, fabulous institution and Thank well you. done to the work you've done. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, let's go on a quick break when we return. Continue with the show. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Thank you.